Lucien Bonaparte, Prince Francais, first Prince of Canino and Musignano, born Luciano Buonaparte, the 21st of May 1775 to the 29th of June 1840, the third surviving son of Carlo Bonaparte and his wife Letizia Ramolino, was a French statesman who served as the final president of the Council of 500 at the end of the French Revolution. Lucien was a younger brother of Joseph and Napoleon Bonaparte, and an older brother of Elisa, Louis, Pauline, Caroline and Jérôme Bonaparte. Lucien held genuinely revolutionary views, which led to an often abrasive relationship with his brother Napoleon, who seized control of the French government in 1799, when Lucien was 24. <laughs> Life and career Lucien Bonaparte's rise during the French Revolution, unlike Napoleon Bonaparte's other siblings, was not based on familial connections or nepotism. This was one of the issues that caused friction between Lucien and Napoleon in the early years of the 19th century, as their political differences deepened. Both Lucien and Napoleon had a very keen interest in historical antiquity as youngsters. Youth. Lucian was born in Ajaccio, Corsica in 1775, and was educated in mainland France, at the College d'Auton, the military school in Brienne, and at seminary in Aix and Provence. In 1769 the Corsican Republic had been conquered by French forces and annexed into France. Lucian's father Carlo Bonaparte had been a strong supporter of Corsican patriots under Pasquale Pauli, but later switched to become a supporter of French rule. Revolutionary activities A 14-year-old Lucien returned to Corsica at the outbreak of the French Revolution in 1789 and became an outspoken speaker in the Jacobin Club at Ajaccio, where he renamed himself, Brutus. An ally of Maximilien Robespierre before and during the Reign of Terror, he was briefly imprisoned at Aix and Provence after the coup of Nine Thermidor on 27 July 1794, which deposed Robespierre and led to Robespierre's execution the following day. <laughs> <laughs> President of the Council of 500 As President of the Council of 500, which he removed to the suburban security of St. Cloud, Lucien Bonaparte was crucial with a combination of bravado and disinformation to the coup d'état of 18 Brumaire date based on the French revolutionary calendar in which Napoleon Bonaparte overthrew the government of the Directory to replace it by the consulate on 9 November 1799. Lucien mounted a horse and galvanized the grenadier by pointing a sword at his brother and swearing to run him through if he ever betrayed the principles of liberté, égalité, fraternité. The following day Lucien arranged for Napoleon's formal election as first consul. <inaudible> Diplomacy Napoleon made him Minister of the Interior under the consulate, which enabled Lucien to falsify the results of the plebiscite but which brought him into competition with Joseph Fouché, the chief of police, who showed Napoleon a subversive pamphlet that was probably written by Lucien, and effected a breach between the brothers. Lucien was sent as ambassador to the court of Charles IV of Spain, November, 1800, where his diplomatic talents won over the Bourbon royal family and, perhaps as importantly, the minister Manuel de Godoy. Topic. Falling out with the Emperor Though he was a member of the Tribunate in 1802 and was made a senator of the First French Empire, Lucien came to oppose many of Napoleon's ideas. In 1804, with Lucien disliking Napoleon's intention to declare himself as Emperor of the French and to marry Lucien off to a Bourbon Spanish princess, the Queen of Etruria, Lucien spurned all imperial honours and went into self-imposed exile, living initially in Rome, where he bought the Villa Rufinella in Frascati. <laughs> Later years In 1809, Napoleon increased pressure on Lucien to divorce his wife and return to France, even having their mother write a letter encouraging him to abandon her and return. 
With the whole of the Papal States annexed to France and the Pope imprisoned, Lucian was a virtual prisoner in his Italian estates, requiring permission of the military governor to venture off his property. He attempted to sail to the United States to escape his situation but was captured by the British. When he disembarked in Britain, he was greeted with cheers and applause by the crowd, many of whom saw him as anti-Napoleon. The government permitted Lucian to settle comfortably with his family at Ludlow, and later at Thorngrove House in Grimley, Worcestershire, where he worked on a heroic poem on Charlemagne. Napoleon, believing Lucian had deliberately gone to Britain and thus a traitor, had Lucian omitted from the imperial almanacs of the Bonapartes from 1811 until his 1814 abdication. Lucian returned to France following his brother's abdication in April 1814. Lucian continued to Rome where on 18 August 1814 he was made Prince of Canino, Count of Apollino, and Lord of Namori by Pope Pius VII and Prince of Musignano on 21 March 1824 by Pope Leo XII. In the hundred days after Napoleon's return to France from exile in Elba, Lucian rallied to his brother's cause, and they joined forces once again during Napoleon's brief return to power. His brother made him a French prince and included his children into the imperial family, but this was not recognized by the Bourbons after Napoleon's second abdication. Subsequently, Lucien was proscribed at the Restoration and deprived of his fauteuil at the Académie Française. In 1836 he wrote his memoirs. He died in Viterbo, Italy, on 29 June 1840, of stomach cancer, the same disease that claimed his father, his sister Pauline and his brother Napoleon. Academic activities Lucien Bonaparte was the inspiration behind the Napoleonic reconstitution of the dispersed Académie Française in 1803, where he took a seat. He collected paintings in La Maison de Campagne at Brienne, was a member of Jean-Francois Julia Delayed Rekemeyer's Salon and wrote a novel, La Tribu Indienne. He was an amateur archaeologist, establishing excavations at his property in Frascati which produced a complete statue of Tiberius, and at Musignano which rendered a bust of Juno. Bonaparte owned a parcel which had once formed part of Cicero's estate called Tusculum, and was much given to commenting on the fact. In 1825, Bonaparte excavated the so-called Tusculum portrait of Julius Caesar at the Tusculum's Forum. Marriages and children His first wife was his landlord's daughter, Christine Boyer the 3rd of July 1771 to the 14th of May 1800, the illiterate sister of an innkeeper of saint maximin le saint Baume, and by her he had four children. Philistine Charlotte, the 28th of November 1795 to the 6th of May 1865, married Prince Mario Gabrielli. Stillborn son, the 13th of March 1796. Victoire Gertrude, born and died the 9th of July 1797. Christine Egypta, the 18th of October 1798 to 1847, married firstly Count Arvid Posse, divorced, and secondly Lord Dudley Stuart. His second wife was Alexandrine de Blesschamp, the 23rd of February 1778 to the 12th of July 1855, widow of Hippolyte Juberthon, known as. Madame Juberthon, and by her he had ten children. Charles Lucien Bonaparte, the 24th of May 1803 to the 29th of July 1857, the naturalist and ornithologist. Letizia, the 1st of December 1804 to the 15th of March 1871, married Sir Thomas Wise. Joseph, the 14th of June 1806 to the 15th of August 1807. Jean, the 22nd of July 1807 to the 22nd of September 1829, married Marquis Honoré Honorati. Paul Marie, the 3rd of November 1809 to the 7th of September 1827. Louis Lucien, the 4th of January 1813 to the 3rd of November 1891, a philologist and politician, expert on the Basque language. Pierre Napoleon, the 11th of October 1815 to the 7th of April 1881. Antoine, the 31st of October 1816 to the 28th of March 1877, married Marie Anne Cardinali without issue. Marie Alexandrine, the 10th of October 1818 to the 20th of August 1874, married Vincenzo Valentini, Count di Laviano. 
Constance, the 30th of January 1823 to the 5th of September 1876, a nun. Topic: Coat of arms. equals equals ancestry